Malta provides the Allies with a base in the central Mediterranean, which some liken to an unsinkable aircraft carrier from which they can launch anti-shipping strikes at the supply line sustaining Axis forces in Africa. In 1942, the Luftwaffe began a campaign to bomb Malta into submission. There are 154 days of continuous air raids, 6,700 tons of bombs fall on the Grand Harbor area alone. The 250,000 islanders determinedly struggle for survival. We did not have anything to eat. Always hungry. Community kitchens provided us with food, but we were never satisfied. By summer, Malta is almost out of food, fuel, and ammunition. Germany draws up plans for an invasion. If the island falls, Rommel will be able to build up his forces unchallenged. The British government devised an audacious scheme to relieve the island. Operation Pedestal. Fourteen merchant ships packed with supplies enter the Mediterranean. At the center of the fleet is the SS Ohio, the biggest American tanker built to this point transporting 170,000 barrels of fuel for the planes defending the island. Protecting this precious cargo are two battleships, three aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, and submarines. The largest naval escort force in the war so far. The Germans take notice. Cameras on the ships film Axis aircraft flying towards the fleet, and anti-aircraft crews rushing to man the guns as they return fire. British destroyers drop depth charges to ward off marauding U-boats. Tracer rounds illuminate the evening sky as the Royal Navy blast away at the German bombers. The SS Ohio comes under concentrated attack. War correspondent Anthony Kimmins is on board. If ever there was an example of dogged perseverance against all odds, this was it. Any of those hundreds of bombs in the right place, and she would have gone up in a sheet of flame. The Allies suffer heavy losses. Over 500 sailors and airmen are killed. Nine of the 14 merchant ships are destroyed. Finally, the remaining convoy reaches Malta. Crucially, the SS Ohio has made it through, but only just. The massive tanker was hit by a torpedo and is so badly damaged it must be towed into the harbor. It will never sail again. 